and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Rosh Nidha. Let's look at today's top medical news. Continuous glucose monitor clinically effective tool for individuals with diabetes on peritoneal dialysis. A recent report study published in Diabetes Care showed satisfactory performance of a real-time CGM sensor in peritoneal dialysis patients with diabetes in detecting asymptomatic glucose exertions. The study by Jack KCNG and a team, a single-center prospective open-label study of Guardian Connect with Guardian Sensor 3 included 30 participants with diabetes undergoing continuous ambulatory PD enrolled between 8 March and 15th of August 2022. The researchers compared Medtronic Guardian Sensor 3 with the gold standard reference Yellow Spring Instrument Glucose Analyzer to access CGM accuracy to capture a wide range of glucose levels with diet and insulin manipulation. Out of 30 participants, 29 completed the in-clinic session and one participant was withdrawn before the YSI session due to repeated sensor failure. The average age was 64.7, 5.6 years, 77% were men, 961 pairs of CGM plasma YSI and 259 pairs of CGM SMBG values were collected. Vitamin D supplements may reduce risk of serious cardiovascular events in older people. Cardiovascular disease is a general term for conditions affecting the heart or blood vessels and is one of the main causes of death globally. CVD events such as heart attacks and strokes are set to increase as populations continue to age and chronic diseases become more common. Vitamin D supplements may reduce the risk of major cardiovascular events such as heart attacks among people aged over 60, finds a clinical trial published by the BMJ. The researchers stressed that the absolute risk difference was small but they say that is the largest trial of its kind to date and further evaluation is warranted, particularly in people taking statins or other cardiovascular disease drugs. The health trial was carried out from 2014 to 2020 and involved 21,315 Australians aged between 60 to 84 who randomly received one capsule of either 60,000 international unit vitamin D or placebo taken orally at the beginning of each month for up to five years. Data on hospital admissions and deaths were then used to identify major cardiovascular events including heart attacks, strokes and coronary revascularization. Study reveals significant RBCs alterations after COVID-19 infection in children. A team of researchers conducted a study to understand the relationship between alterations in RBCs and the clinical course of COVID-19 in this age group. The article was published in Scientific Reports. They investigated red blood cells, morphological and mechanical characteristics in children and adolescents following SARS-CoV-2 infection. The researchers analyzed whole blood samples from 121 students from secondary schools in Saxony, Germany, who participated in the immune COVID DD19 study. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.